limit of trigonometric functions evaluate limit of tan x minus sin x divided by x cos x when x approaches 0. Now with this example we will try to perfect our strategy of finding limits. So the strategy for us is always break down this limit equation in the form so that you can get something like limit x approaches 0 in for the function sine x over x. Now this part is equal to 1, you know that, right? So if you could do that, then actually you can solve any limit problem. So that keeping that in mind, let's start working on this question. So what we get here is we have limit x approaches 0, numerator tan x, let's write it as sine x over cosine x minus sine x and then in denominator we have x times cos x. Now we can take common denominator and simplify this. So we have limit x approaches 0. So when we take common denominator we get cos x in the numerator as denominator and then we can write sin x minus sin x cos x divided by x times cos x. Now further what we will do is we'll kind of write this in the denominator itself and we can write this as sin x let's take sin x common okay sin x 1 minus cos x over x times cos square x or let me write cos x times cos x okay as you can see we have isolated sin x over x by doing all this so that is the kind of strategy we were really working on, right? So what we finally get is limit x approaches 0, and we can split this now. We have sine x over x, right, times limit x approaches 0 for 1 minus cos x over cos square x. I hope you appreciate that part, right? So that is that is the basic strategy. And once you come to the stage, you know you're very close to the solution, right? So let's do it on the right side and write down our solution. Now there is no harm in substituting limit x equals to 0 here. Since you know limit of cos x when x approaches 0 is what, right? You know it is 1. Now we have 1 in the denominator, right? So we can always get our answer, correct? So that is how we should solve these questions. Now, let's go ahead and then we'll write this as limit of x approaches 0 for sin x over x. I'm just rewriting this. And then we have on this side limit of we can, well, it, we can write like that also. X, so I'm just copying this for the time being. 1 minus cos x over cos square x. Now if I substitute x at 0 here, cos of 0 is 1, you know, right? Cos of 0, limit for cos approaching 0 is 1. So we know one thing, that is limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0 is 1. And we also know that limit for x approaching 0 for cos x is equal to 1. Right? So we'll utilize that part here. So now if we do that, then what do we get? So for the first part, we get 1, right? 1 times, and this limit, when I put 0 here, I get 1 minus 1 divided by 1. So I get 1 minus 1 divided by 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, right? So we get 0 as our answer. So limit of this function is 0. So we can write down our answer here as 0, correct? But that is how you can solve it. Thank you.